Okay, I hope to convince you that the data revolution that we're in the midst of necessitates a radical restructuring of K-12 education. Have you seen that slide before, or that cover? In 2011, there was a special online collection issue of science on dealing with data. Access to this collection is free, and I recommend it. I love the word cloud constructed from all the words in the articles. This was just one of several major journalistic forays into covering the story around data. Some others were in the New York Times, Popular Science, and The Economist. So since you've been already deluged with news about the data deluge and its importance, I don't need to say anything about how, data, how much data there is now or its importance in the functioning of our society. <clears throat> to get an idea of the scale change that has taken place over the last 30 years, compare my computer from 1982 with the one I have today. Today's is 3,000 times faster, stores 1 million times as much in information, and transmits data at 30,000 times the rate it did then. Now, imagine that you could get from one place to another three times, 3,000 times as fast, or that you are a million times your size, or that there are 30,000 times as many people in the world as there are currently. That's the kind of scale change we're talking about, that these are changes that have already happened, and we're now in a previously unimaginable world, one that we have not yet really begun to understand, or we've begun to understand it, but that's all. Keep in mind those scale changes as you consider the data economy. 30 years ago, data was expensive and in short supply. Not today. Today we have lots of cheap data, and the bottleneck is the people who can provide insight from those data. Let's call what those people know data science. Here's a characterization of data science that I adapted from one I found on one of the many blogs about data. Data science combines three disciplines. First, we have mathematics and statistics. Now notice that mathematics and statistics does not fully encompass data science. Then there's content knowledge, the biology or oceanography or business acumen. And finally, there's what some choose to call hacking skills. This is not the nefarious breaking into computers hacking, but the creative computer problem solving that requires being able to see inside the machine and to visualize the structure of the data. By the way, I, th I think it's the presence of that circle that distinguishes data science from quantitative literacy. How should we think about bringing about the paradigm shift that's implied here? Here are two starter goals, the first from NSF's recent DRK-12 request for proposals, increase student engagement in meaningful scientific data collection, analysis, visualization, modeling, and interpretation. More generally, we need to prepare students for active participation, not passive consumption in a data-driven society. Though I also may not be sure yet what cyber learning is, I'm sure it has a central role in data science education because you can't experience working with data without technology. There's more to data science than statistics. The Common Core State Standards for Mathematics, even with increased emphasis on data analysis, do not yet manage to fully encompass data science. There are lots of questions, even at the level of figuring out what questions need to be asked. We need to understand what's happening with data in the real world and how the education community can stay abreast of the changes there. 
regarding the first bullet here, my colleague Cliff Canold and I have started doing some basic research into what learners think about data. It's fascinating and quite removed from the statistics education research we're accustomed to. Technology, as many of you know, I'm most passionate about figuring out what are the technological tools that facilitate this kind of learning. And then there are the questions about how to get more learning with and about data into the, into the curriculum. The data games project that Cliff and I are working on attempts to do just that. My own belief is that it should become a part of literally all subjects that students study. And my hope is that every student gets to experience the exhilaration of data exploration and discovery. But as has been alluded to several times here, the inertia of our education system makes even minor changes take a long time to implement. Bringing data science into education seems like a major change. How are we going to do that? I don't know of any group that has taken on data science education, but I think there should be such. And it seems a thorny enough problem that it's worthy of a national center where a mix of people can come together to address it. Thank you. <laughs>